Welcome to our Campus Insider Studios, everybody. College hoops in full swing. That's why Jordan Cornett is here, our college basketball analyst. Hello, I am Shay Pepler. Jay, we're going to talk Michigan State here a little bit. Spartans off to a 12-5 and overall start on a three-game win streak so far in Big Ten play. What makes this Spartan squad so special? Well, not everybody talking about them early on in the season, but you knew there was going to come a point where you started talking about Tom Izzo's Spartans. And this team is every bit those Spartan teams we're used to. Defensively, they're stout. They're tough on the backboard. They're a tough-minded team. But offensively is where this team's really shining right now. Third in the nation in assists. They really share the sugar. The perimeter play has been phenomenal for these guys. They're knocking down three-pointers, shooting better than 40% from distance, 48% from the field. They're just a tough out to have to guard as a defensive assignment. They're really starting to put it together on the offensive side of things. So we talked about the positives. Are there any glaring weaknesses on the Spartan squad? Glaring weaknesses is this team's so aggressive and attacking at all times. They get to the free throw line but they're not making these free throws. And that's going to be a big struggle as you talk about teams that need to deliver in the postseason. If you not, don't knock down and convert those free throws, it becomes a problem. Another sign of concern for this team is down low. They're not getting the productivity from these big guys. And I didn't really expect to in Gavin Schilling and Matt Costello. These guys have been steady. By committee, they're doing it between the two of them, putting up decent numbers. I'd like to see either Schilling or Costello come to the forefront and give this front line a little bit more. You mentioned poor free throw shooting. They are shooting just under 65% from the charity stripe. Okay, one guy we haven't really talked about is Brandon Dawson leads the Big Ten in rebounding what makes him such a special player well this guy is probably the best on ball defender in the Big Ten and one of the best in the nation this guy I thought his numbers offensively would be better his scoring average is about what it was last season I need to see a better field goal per- percentage from this guy he's got to be more aggressive hunting his shot he's their most talented player Denzel Valentine has really led the way for the most part offensively alongside Travis Trice. I need more from Brandon Dawson. If he can score the basketball more with how well he defends, as great and elite of a rebounder he is coming from that guard spot, this team could be a dangerous team that you might want to consider in your final four picks, everybody. I think they can be that special. Bold statement. Three of the Spartans' next four games are on the road, so tough stretch here coming up for Sparty. Jordan Cornette, great stuff. As always, and be sure to stick with Campus Insiders as we talk about Mr. Triple Double, that is BYU's. Kyle Collinsworth, Jordan breaks it down right here on CampusInsiders.com.